Okay, so he wants to rip something, some dynamic, something dynamic from Destiny. So you, what you want to do is go to here, I'll have a link in the description, download this little bit right here, and so you'll have, and once you extract it, extract it to your C, users, username, and open it up, and have it open here, the, just the file. So once you have it open, you'll find this run.bat, but first, before that, you go to the readme.txt because what you need to know is all of this because this thing if you don't know what's what's happening in it is very confusing so packages path first packages path path what it is is where the destiny packages are so as you can see mine is g steam library steam apps common destiny 2 packages let me open up a new folder for it. All right, here we go follow that path. So G, G, Steam library, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Destiny 2, packages. And here are all the packages. So once you've gotten that done is next is the output path, the output path is where the output's going to be. So you can see mine is going to be g slash extractor tests. No longer tests, but still. And you can see it is extractor tests. You can see I already have a bunch of extractions. So with this in mind, the, the base one is completely different from what I have it, but it is the same basic idea. It is where your packages are for your for Destiny 2, package path for Destiny 2 example might be like this. See? So, output path is, this default is in the current directory, which would be in MDE's basic, which would be right in here. So, next is name, the file name. What the file name is going to be, be named, I do not have one right now, since I had ripped a shader earlier, and so it is not in there. But, you can name it something like stash n. Uh, say we were ripping a, a catch, big ship, and then it'll be and the file will be named big ship. You can see here that I have multiple named crown slayer, throne cleaver, debt bringer, fallen saver, P three, found verdict, and stuff like that. Templar con, and we have and so we have it like that. So, next on up on the line would be the input hash. Input hash is the is hash to extract, which would be in here. These are the hashes to extract. We have multiple pages of them, and you can just choose any which one of them, and they, you will be able to rip them. Very nice and very useful. So. T is enable texture extractions, which enable, enables the extractor to rip textures. So if I go to the computer set, go to panel cage, panel cage of computer textures, and you can see it has textures. I can go to any other of these. Let's say, uh, let's go into, uh, where's Atheon Sama? See right here, textures, where all the tech, he has all the textures, and Anka textures, and all the textures here. I had a dash t in the name, so it enabled texture extraction. In the in the uh, I had dash t in here, which enabled texture extraction. Next is package ID. Note you do not need. Yeah, right here, dash t i n n c are ignored whenever you have dash b n package ID. Please note that only only uh, uh, i b and a can be active one at a time so that means if if you're doing input hash you can only only have i in it at one at this at that specific time so that it doesn't get cluttered because but if you are mo ripping multiple ones you can have two lines of the same thing so well not of the same thing but of two different things i have not done that yet but it is possible Next is API hash. 
yeah, pa well, package ID will extract every model for a given package ID. Yeah, and for the package, uh, package ID would be 01BA. So if we go over to here, we go to find our packages again. Maps common. Let's see, two packages. So the package ID would be this, these four alphanumerical letters right here, characters right there. So it's right there, right here. They can see, and it is on all of them. So pack and package set is these three. So O two O two nine E would be these four right here. And it would not take pick up O two nine F or O one A five. Only need these three. So all you need is O two nine E, and that is it. And it'll rip from all four all four of these package sets. So next is API hash. It will just be the API hash is what you get whenever you rip something from the API. Come on. There we go. API hash is this little bitty right up here whenever you whenever you go rip. If you were here in a long time ago before dare happened you would know how to rip it from here, but it is also down here in the API ID, so you don't have to look up here. But it's easier up here since these, the URL loads before the page does sometimes, if you're on a slow Wi-Fi network like mine. So, next, and that is it. And that NC and C is enable C buffer. It doesn't really do much for people like me who have, who have zero knowledge of the inner workings of the game. That's as as uh, override skeleton of extracted model, so I have no idea about that either. Either I have never done that. And then dash H is extract shader, and you saw how I had that up before dash H. Dash H, and then I had an API hash in it. So what? Oh, go away. So as you can see, let me pull, pull this, pull my extract chats back up. These are shaders. I have ripped shaders from it. See, so, and once I've extracted that, I've actually, it actually gives me shaders. But that is going to probably be another video, depending on how long this one go is going to be, as I've already spent seven minutes and 44 seconds doing this. So, next up is actually ripping. So now, yeah, so now is ripping. So we are going to rip is now is a, uh, let's see, what are we going to rip? We can probably rip, uh, let's rip a brig actually. Just copy this hash map, control C to copy. I'm going to rip the run.bat, do dash I for ripping, for as you can see right here, ripping input hash. So you're ripping a hash, control V to copy paste, paste, and dash T enables textures, and dash N enables name, big ship. Then you save it, control S to save. Oh, and to open it up, open up the run.bat, you just right click edit. And then once you saved it, you can keep it open, and you can double click run.bat, and it runs. And once it, it goes through this entire running process and its own little command line and it'll take a while but it is well worth the wait so let's see it'll probably pop up right around yep yep see right here big ship it takes some time for it to rip all the textures and the neck necessary I mean necessary uh, models so as we wait I will open up actually no I won't I will simply wait but yeah see here it is ripping textures it does take some time to actually load but most things it does not take as long as it, as this it's just this is just the regular time it takes 
So once it's done, this pause will make it pause so it doesn't exactly close out. So you just hit any keys, continue, I press space. So now you have a big ship or the, you have a name, big ship. It is actually the brig. So let's open up Blender. Blender is now opening. And if we import FBX, we can actually see the brig inside. I'm going to change this up for a little bit, just so we can rip something from the API. So let's delete all that. A delete. A is to select all. And you press the delete key to delete all of it. F import FBX extractor tests. And then let's see. Modify, change that back. Let's find big ship, big ship. And let it load in. And there we go. We have a brig. Congratulations. Now, the next thing you will need to do is to set up all of the textures and stuff, but that is completely that is a completely different video, or you can just figure it out on your own, as it's not very hard. So, next would be to rip a something from the API. And since API hashes require dash A, we are going to rip a plug one. So we are going to copy this right here, control C to copy, go and throw in dot bat, control paste, control save, and then we are going to go over to here again, double click the run dot bat, and then it starts extracting. It does not take as long as the brig does because it is not as big as a brig. So once it's done, you can press any to continue, and then we are going to import into this scene. Just shut that, new collection, click on that file import fbx just go up one level so i'm still in the same area and then let's find it again minus two here we have multiple fbx files it is not recommended to actually use mde to rip to rip models as they don't as it doesn't really work i i highly suggest only using mde to extract the textures as they are game, they are actually high res. Let's find it minus two textures. And here you can see the actual textures. Here's four of the main textures. Here's scope, scope, and scope. Right here you can see how these are small. That is because of how Monty even coded his, actually coded his program. So that way, so it is actually 2048 by 2048, and these are, uh, I forgot how large that it was, let's see, they're half that, so let's see, details, uh, it's 1024 by 1024, so that's actually smaller, but they are still high resolution, yeah, these are 2048 by 2048, instead of the normal 1024. So it has to do with the way Monty even coded it. But I have found multiple workarounds of, of that. So I have a, one open up right now. Let me find one of my workarounds. Yes, right here. So all I did was change it to scale as 0.5 on X and Y, and the location on the Y is negative 0.5. And so it works perfectly fine, as you can see, unless I move it. So, that is one workaround. Another one is to actually edit the UVs, but that is highly unrecommended as it is very hard to do so. And it's not always accurate. This one is the most accurate it can get. So, so now you ha you know how to rip from the API and the, and the hash table. So, congratulations. Remember, we have an... I will remember these are in the description and now I will go over a new I will make a new video going over how to you rip shaders.